Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use a countersink drill bit. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. This is one example of a countersink drill bit. I'm going to show you exactly how to adjust them and how to use them to countersink screws. As you can see, this is an example of a screw that is not countersunk. It's just sitting on the top. It is protruding from the top. This is an example of a screw that is countersunk. You can see it's underneath the surface of the wood, which makes for a much better look. And you can use some wood filler over it, sand it down, and stain or paint the material to all look flush so you can really hide the screws easily if you use a countersinking mechanism like a countersink drill bit so they're really easy to use first and foremost there's a number on it that is telling me the head of the screw that it will allow it to countersink with regards to the size so you can see this is number eight screws it would countersink which is actually the screws that I have over here so I have some more number eight screws right over here we'll be countersinking this um, in addition, there are other ones. I just got a pack of them right here. You can see that these are the other ones that, that come in the pack. Um, it goes number six, number eight, number 10, and then number 12. Um, they all obviously work with different screws. Um, so yeah, uh, just to show you the pack, I mean, I guess you should see what the brand is over here. They're just this Work Pro countersink drill bits. Um, they work really, really well. I just opened them up. I've used many different variations of countersinking bits before, and these ones work really well. Um, there's a little, uh, a little, uh, a uh, little uh, screw piece right there. I'm not. I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words right now. Um, that if you loosen it, you can adjust the depth. So if I loosen this like this, okay. So I just loosened it. Now I can adjust the depth of this drill bit right here. If I want it to go a little bit lower, and then I can tighten it up when it's in the position that I want it to be. Okay. Tighten it up nice and tightly so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so basically this is going to be drilling your pilot hole and then this head right here is going to carve out the same size, a little bit bigger size head than the screw, which will allow you to sink the screw to counter sink it in. So I'm just going to place this on my drill over here. Okay, let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to counter sink a screw right here. So we're going to start off by drilling our pilot hole just like that. And then at this point, the pilot hole has been drilled. If we continue drilling, it's going to drill out some of the wood that will allow us to countersink the screw into the wood. Just like that. So I'm actually going to bring it back just a bit, get rid of the wood that's inside of the drill bit, and we're going to go ahead and continue going to countersink it just like this. So now when I pull out the countersinking bit, you can see right here... You can see right there that there's a little bit of almost like a almost like an indent in the wood. And what that does is it allows us to countersink the screw. So I'm just going to switch my battery over right now to the impact driver. You can see we have our screw right here. The screw goes into the pilot hole nice and straight and we're going to drill it down. We're going to fasten it down and you're going to see that the screw is going to disappear underneath the level of the wood. As I bring it down, I'm just going to push it down. You're going to hear the, the impact driver causing the impact right now. Just like that. And if I pull up the impact driver, you can see that now the screw has been countersunk. Like I said, it's a much better way. It, it gives you a much cleaner look. And you don't have a screw protruding or anything like that uh, over here. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.